Hi guys, uh, welcome to my first tutorial video on FSX. This video is going to look at installing SweetFX, which is a graphical overlay, which just improves the, the colors that are natively shown in FSX. It can also do cool things like anti-aliasing and stuff like that. But today we're just going to look at installing it and how to run the effects itself. So we'll start where many of you will start, which is on the Facebook page. On this page there's a link to the Dropbox, and this Dropbox contains all the documents you need for SweetFX to run. So you'll get this up, just download it, and we'll place it on the desktop so we can easily access it. So we just save that. And we'll extract it. So once inside you'll notice there's four different files the real FSX HD preset, this is the one I'm using, although I've slightly changed it at the moment, so I'm going to upload my new settings with this video. Then there's an instructional photo which shows you which files need to go where. Excuse the background noise, we have gardeners in at the moment. And then there's a readme file, this just tells you what all the files do in case you wanted to know and how you can tweak them. Then there's this other zipped file. This is Everything inside this needs to go in your FSX directory. So we'll extract that as well. Then open it up. All of these files, like I showed in the photo, need to go into FSX. So you need to load up your FSX root. For most people that's going to be in program files, Microsoft games. For me, and what I highly recommend, is putting all of FSX outside of those program files directory. This will save you a lot of hassle in terms of things not working properly and it's mainly due to user permissions and stuff like that. So if you go into your FSX root, the root file is the one with the FSX application exe. So what you want to do is copy all these files and then drag them over. I'm not going to copy them now because I already have them in and I don't want it to overwrite my settings. But that's what you guys would do. You just drag it and drop it in there. Once it's in, you'll see there's the SweetFS folder, the SweetFX folder, the D3, D9, D3, D9.fx, and all the other files in there as well, all the way down to the README files here. here. Now, the kind of issue with updating your SweetFX settings is it can be a real hassle, because you every time you make a change, you need to open up Flight Simulator to, to view that change. And then if you didn't like it, you'd have to quit again, go back into the settings, adjust it then open FSX again and doing this over and over again can take a lot of time and it's quite frustrating so if I open up you can see this is where you change all the settings here there's a new program called FlightFX and these guys have put that file into a, a GUI so you can just use sliders so you edit SweetFX settings and then you can just adjust the sliders and the great thing about this is you can use it while FSX is running so I'll show you how SweetFX works inside FSX now, and then I'll show you how you can use FlightFX to run it. So we'll just close these down for now, and we'll start up FSX. It might take a little while, because Open Broadcaster is recording, it tends to slow down my PC just a little bit. Also, I will put links to FlightFX and to all the Dropbox stuff, and the settings on the YouTube link. So just look below this video, and you should see the links. Okay, so we're going to FSX. You can actually see the sweet effects working here. I left a, a split screen on so when we start FSX you can see the difference straight away. This is also showing in the FSX preview box. Okay, so let's go somewhere cool. Let's go uh, Washington, which is KIAD. Uh, 3 o'clock's fine, fair weather's fine. I'll change to an aircraft, a uh, commercial aircraft, which a lot of people are using. I won't use PMDG today just because it takes a long time to, to start up. So we'll just jump into a Delta A320. Again, this may take a little longer than normal. That's just because Open Broadcaster is running.
You'll also notice that I'm running in windowed mode. This seems to be what is recommended for better performance, to be running in windowed mode and moving the Windows taskbar onto a different monitor if you have one, or hiding it. I don't know why FSX is weird like that, but I do get a lot more frames running in windowed as opposed to full screen, so that's just another little tip you guys might want to try. You're going to hear RAS shouting in a minute as a runway advisory system, which is included within the Airbus, so we'll just ignore that. Also, I load in the 2D panel, which looks a little strange in the Airbus, because it doesn't have one. But it's just better for loading, to load up in a 2D panel, uh, especially if you're running PNG. Flats, flats. So we'll switch over to the 3D panel now, and right away you can see the difference in the split screen. See so that the normal FSX one is lacks a lot of contrast and it's very bright, not very realistic at all. Then on the right you can see sweet effects, which I think is a lot more realistic. You've got a lot more shading and shadowing. So I'll just switch to an exterior view, and there we can see the differences. This isn't the one I'm running at the moment, this was just to show you how dramatic the difference can be. So I'll open FlightFX, and I'm going to change my Technicolor setting back to what it normally is, which is about 46, I think, or 48. can't quite remember off the top of my head. So now I've changed it, I can go straight back into FSX, and I just hit the pause break button, and it will update the settings. There you go, it's updated. So that's how easy it is to change settings in flight effects, and you can change anything you want. So now I'm going to remove the split screen, so if I wanted to go flying, I don't really want to see a split screen. So just untick it, go back, press On break, runway, and zero, one, so left. I think On it runway, looks a lot better than zero, normal, and you one, have full left. control of uh, customizing it, everything like that. Back to the flight deck, I think it just, it just looks a lot more realistic. So that's how you use flight effects. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope it helps you in setting it up. If you have any questions just leave a comment and I'll get back to you. If you guys want to see any other tutorials just let me know. Alright, thanks for watching.